awaken everybody it's Kevin Firefox back on the tutorial world in space engineers and today we are going to focus on another viewer request for tutorials today we're looking at combat and how it works this will be a very basic overview of the combat system in space engineers and it'll be expanded on in future videos now these are the vanilla weapon systems in Space Engineers. When I say vanilla, I mean there's not modded. These are the ones that come standard with the game. There are a gazillion modded weapons, and in my opinion, they are a million times better. But this video is going to focus on the basic mechanisms of the vanilla guns in the game. So these are the three large ship and station turrets. This is the interior turret. It can only be loaded by this little thing right here, and it takes the same rounds as your automatic rifle. It's the it's the little 5.56 by 45 NATO magazine. That's what you need to fire the interior turrets. All right. The next step up from that is the big Gatling turret. You can manually load it using this right here, hitting the T button and opening it up. And this one takes the large NATO ammo, ammo container. Okay. Now these are built using magnesium, nickel, and iron. Magnesium is usually pretty hard to find in space and uh, it's very plentiful on my planet that I'm in now in my survival world, but it can be very hard to find down there too. So that's what you need to fire this. Now these, you can pipe up these from underneath. Um, you know, I'll go ahead and show you the things that will float away, but you can see there's the door on the bottom. So that's how you put, and these do have to be piped up in survival. In uh, creative, they'll shoot until they get blown up. You don't have to have ammo for them in creative. But in survival, you do have to build ammo and f tube it up using conveyors in there. Next up are the missile turrets. Now these, these bad boys right here can do a lot of damage. Um, again, you can go in here through that. They take the 200 millimeter missile container. That's what they use. That's the ammo they shoot. And again, they also have the door on the bottom and they have to be tubed up to f shoot in survival. Those are your weapons that you have on large ships. And there are, those are the turrets that you have on large ships. On a large ship you can also have a rocket launcher, which looks like so. And it is a direct fire weapon, it doesn't aim, it's wherever, it shoots wherever you're pointing it. And it can be loaded up from the back here. You just have to tube it up with conveyors and all that fun stuff as well. So there you go, those are your, your weapon choices for your large ships. You have your straight fire rockets, your missile turrets, your Gatling turret, and your interior turret, which is a small arms. You usually put those inside. Those are what you have for large ships. They all need to be tubed up to fire in survival. And you can use the conveyors just like you did over here for everything else. They have to be linked up. Now for your small ships, you have two types of turrets. The Gatling turret right here, which has these ports on the sides, and the one down below that has to be, again, piped up. Now you can see here that it does have a nuclear reactor on it. That's just to power it up because it's a separate entity from the station. You don't need to attach it like that in the game. It just has to have a power source on the ship it's attached to. Now on the missile turret for the small ship, which, by the way, these are fairly new to the game and they look amazing. They used to not have any kind of turrets for small ships. So these are a big improvement to the game. And the missile turrets, they only have the large door on the bottom, so you have to tube it up using the large conveyors on a small ship, much the same we did right here. So these are the conveyors you need to use, not the small one. Alright, now on small ships you also have the options of Gatling gun, which isn't a turret at all. It just shoots in a straight line, just like that. You can also use small ship rockets. which shoot out the pointy end, the yellow end is where they shoot. Now these cannot be piped up, okay, you have to actually reload these from the front manually. So if you have these on your small ship, you have, in survival, you have, it's either four or eight shots, I don't remember which, um, and then it's done, it's dry. So you use caution when you're using those, don't, uh, I know in creative I get used to just spamming those rockets because they're pretty nice. But uh, just remember that there is a limit to those. But the answer to that is the reloadable missile launcher. And again, works on a small ship. You've got your big port that you need to do it. And you can stack these in a line here and get a, get a pretty decent amount of firepower. Oops. 
you get the picture. So now you got all these rockets firing in the same direction, and these rockets do considerable damage. I've added a cockpit in here so I can jump in and control this, and I've given us something to shoot at, just so you can see a, basically the difference in the damage they do. Now this thing is going to start floating whenever I shoot it, so I'll have to shoot it quickly. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and jump into the spectator cam now, and I'll uh, show you what these things can do. Alright, select number one for our gun. You can see, not doing a whole lot of damage. There we go, finally put a hole in it. Number two for our rocket launcher over there. Considerably more damage. And it's deforming all the blocks around it as well. So there we go, now I've got another hole in there. Now for our rack of reloadables, there's one fire. See, it shoots them all at once and I've already busted through it there. Now the whole thing's moving. <laughs> now, I don't know if it'll do it in creative or not, but they should stop firing and start reloading here. <laughs> it's gonna run into us. Alright, well, that's enough of that. Let me get out of here and delete this block before it runs right into us. Alright, now that we're done with these, we'll move over to the turrets and I'll give you a little display on how those work. Okay, now what you can do with the turrets, if you go into your control panel and you click on the Gatling turret or whatever turret you want to use, you can hit this control button down here and you can take over control of the turret. You can look around, find your target that's conveniently pasted up here, and shoot away. Uh, again, this is a Gatling turret, so it's not doing a whole lot of damage to it, but it sure does look cool. Okay, come over here to this Gatling turret, excuse me, missile turret. Same thing, missile turret, control, we'll go up there, fire, reload, fire, reload, and you can see the damage these rockets do to small ships. I've shot it twice and the, that ship is absolutely useless now. These rockets are a pain in the butt for small ships. Now to show what these the big guns do, <laughs> well let me go ahead and get my spectator cam set up and then I will show you what they do. And that, <laughs> that is what turrets do to a small ship. They wreck havoc, that poor ship. Didn't do anything but exist. Well, for a minute it didn't take anyways. Because even the small turrets are getting on the action now. That's that. Now what the turrets are aiming at is anything with a computer on that ship up there. I took that ship and put it in the Space Pirates faction so they automatically detected it as a threat and started firing at it. So, now that ship is very, very gone. Not much left of it. Now let me hop back in my body. So that's that. Now, one of the questions the viewer asked was how do you get in combat, how do you get out of combat, how do you avoid it, and all that fun stuff. Now in space, there will be randomly these little red things over here. The SBRT is the pirate faction. It's the NPCs. They, uh, some of them will come close to you and start attacking you, others won't. Now these are raiding outposts, so they are immobile, they do not move, but they're fun to go and attack and get the goodies that are inside of those. Okay, so after that basic rundown of how the turrets work and all that kind of stuff, I want to show you how it kind of implements on an actual ship that you can fly and, and do some good in in combat. This is my own creation, built this a while ago whenever the turrets first came out, just to put them on a small ship and, and have fun with them. Um, these used to be large thrusters back here, and this thing was a hell of a lot faster, but they were bugged at the time and kept blowing up, so I had to put the small ones in there instead. Now over here you can see that I've removed the top layer right here so you can kind of see how everything's hooked up. That's where the missile turrets would be sitting on this one, but I've moved, removed them and the blocks over here so you can see how everything's piped up. You've got your small container, medium cargo container right there hooked up to two conveyors and a conveyor tube in the middle. And that feeds the one on the top and the one down here on the bottom, which if I am lucky, there we go. See, there's how they're piped up. That's how they work. And up here in the front, you got your Gatling turrets, and I've removed kind of the decoration around them. You can see there's a conveyor right there that's hooked up into the cockpit's uh, little door right there. So everything is fed through the system. Everything's hooked up in the middle here. There's a, a reactor back here that's hooked up into this cargo container as well. 
which is then hooked up to this little bitty port back here <laughs> so that I can hook everything up. I don't have a connector on this. Uh, it was, you know, I would say an oversight on my part. But this was mainly created for creative. If I was in survival, I would definitely have a connector on it because it's going to be a pain in the butt to manually reload this thing. But this wouldn't be a good combat tutorial if I didn't go out and get myself blown up. So what I'm going to do is jump in this bad boy and start flying towards the closest. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, these guys are gonna, these guys are going to wreck me. But you'll kind of see, kind of get an idea behind the combat in the game, and you can laugh at my expense. So I'm going to start heading that way, and I will cut back whenever I have caught up to it. All right, I'm approaching this. Uh, outpost now and you can see it's already started to spit out some some drones now the way you stop it in any of these bases or carriers or whatever might come your way from spawning you gotta knock out the main ships antenna which I'm gonna try to do now most of the the guns have a range of 800 kilometers so I'm about to get in the range now and that means I'm about to die so I'm gonna start throwing some stuff at them turrets just took off shooting at me now. Yeah, I had my dampeners off right there so I could do the turrets are reloading. Alright, I'm back out of range and <laughs> I've taken some considerable damage. Let's see, what did I lose? One of my turrets. Yeah. Ah, fun stuff. Small ships versus large ships is not good for the small ships the damage that the big ships can put out is considerably more. And this guy's got heavy armor on him, which is why he's so sluggish, but he still can't really take a punch from the big rocket launchers especially. Alright, here we go again. I'm going to come in kind of straight this time, so I should get killed. Kind of show you the difference between strafing and just driving right into it. You do have to be careful not to run into the ships. That's probably the way I die most of the time is accidentally running into other ships because of the way everything works. It's uh, very easy to run into somebody. Usually you don't have as much forward thrust to do rear thrust. Now I'm really on fire. What did I lose this time? An engine. Alright, that's not bad. Now, you can tell that they're not popping up on my screen anymore with like what's over there. So I've managed to take out the antenna, which is good news. That means he's not going to spawn any new guys to come out to get me. But it also means that I don't have a clue how far out I am. So I guess I just have to wait for the turrets to start up. Oh, my Gatling gun did look cool if nothing else. They don't do a hell of a lot of damage, but they're very good for sniping off individual things you want to kill. That's about it. Like if you wanted to take out a turret, this is the one you'd use instead of rockets, because rockets would blow up everything around the turret. So let's kind of come in here a little, a little slower this time so we can see any flashes and take them out. Yeah, we just get shot at. Don't run into it! Don't run into it! Ah, oh, crap! God damn it. Yep, that's what happens when you run into things. You die. Well, that's pretty spectacular. That looks cool. Well, that ship's gone into the, the wasteland. I'm going to go cheaty, cheaty creative mode here and come in here and show you what these uh, outposts have inside of them and why it's worth your time to come and try to kill them. So, well, it looks like I managed to take out all their defenses as I was uh, getting blown up there. Yeah, ramming is very effective against your target as well. Unfortunately, it kills you probably about 100% of the time unless your ship is designed for ramming. This is one of the drones they make right there. Usually they only have a little uh, interior turret on the end of them, so they're not very dangerous. But when you first start off, they're very, very annoying. Uh, let's see if I can't make my way inside here for what's left of it. Hopefully I didn't blow up their uh, cargo containers, because... No, Alright. Where are you at? Where's the door? There we go. Do we have gravity? We do have gravity. Alright. 
and it's not going to open because I don't have access to it, so we're just going to go cheaty cheaty. Delete. I'm going to be that way about it. They do have interior turrets in here. Well, let's go ahead and kill them. Now, in survival, I would have had to have been a lot more careful about that because that would have killed me. But I'm not worried about that right now. This is what is inside of these things. And this right here is why it's worth your time to get... Ah. I don't have access to it again. Alright, now. Bonus! This is how you get access to something you don't have access to. You need your grinder, and you need your welder. Come up to it. Now, you see this red line over here underneath large cargo container? There's also a blue line just above that. The blue line is what you want to know. That's your ownership line. So if you're to... There you go. I'm below the line now. So all I gotta do is op repair it again, and now I can access it and it didn't lose anything. So all of these goodies in here, this is actually pretty light for most of them. But there's a lot of goodies in here. You can see you got 400 rounds of ammo right there. You usually some missiles in here. 500 in your interior turret that I just shot. Yeah, yeah, usually there's a lot more in here, but this, this is a good example of what's in there. You got 5,000 steel plates right there, which is a nice nice little addition. Medical components, power cells, radio communication. These are the things that are hard to build. They take a lot of resources. And things like construction components that you use a lot of, they throw a bunch of them in here. So it's worth your while to come and try to take them out, but just know you're going to, you know, if you're like me, you're going to run into the ship and lose it. But there are costs to coming and get it, but it is worth it. So, with that being said, I'm going to hightail it back over to the base. Alright guys, well that'll wrap up the tutorial on the weapon systems in Space Engineers. If there's anything you would like me to go over in more detail, please let me know down in the comments section below. If there's another idea you want me to do a tutorial on, please do send me a private message, or please just leave it down in the comments section below, and I will get on it as soon as I am able. Thanks again for watching. This is Kevin Firefox signing off. See you next time.